Hi everyone, Uncle Naki here. Um, making a different type of video uh, tonight. Uh, not vintage related, but more of a uh, a video based on a newer card, an insert card actually that uh, just uh, had an auction end a couple days ago, and the auction ended at three hundred and fifty thousand uh, dollars. This is a card from 1997 uh, from uh, Skybox Basketball uh, from their set uh, the uh, Skybox Metal Universe uh, cards and this was actually an insert card uh, the, the set is uh, of, the, of the cards is a 125 card base set and of those base set cards 123 of them have parallels uh, the only two cards of the full set that don't have parallels are the two checklist cards. And each of these cards, their par parallels, uh, there's a hundred in total for each card. The first ten parallels are green, and then the last ninety are red. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this is a, a Michael Jordan card. Um, you know, obviously nowhere near his rookie card because this is 1997. And this is one of the green ones, uh, you know, meaning that there are supposed to be 10 of these cards out there. Uh, this particular card was graded by PSA as authentic, altered, uh, due to some uh, chipping or some funny kind of edge wear that they weren't comfortable with. And still, even at an altered uh, grade, and it was still able to get three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a final bid. Uh, it looks like there was twenty-two uh, bidders uh, in this, and uh, just strong bidding throughout the whole uh, auction. And this was a an auction where you had to pre-register uh, in order to bid. So. I would have to say a majority of these bids are are legit bids. Um, I don't know what to think of this. You know, it's it's not even that it's a rare card. Uh, you know, if, um, you know, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, if you know if this helps the hobby, I'm all for it. Um, but. Honestly, I don't think this card is really worth that much. Um, you know, I would even question if, if he had the full 123 card subset in the greens even being worth that much. Never mind just one card. And then on top of it, the card is uh, graded authentic. Um... So, you know, I'm making this video basically to reach out and see what everybody else thinks. Um, you know, maybe you didn't know too much about this particular card. Uh, it, you know, it was an insert uh, that came out, out of a pack of cards and, you know, pack, packs came out of boxes. Um, so the inserts, it's, it's called a Precious Metals Gems Insert or a PMG for short. Uh, and like I said, the first 10 are, are in green, and then the last 90 are in red. And every base card of the set, except the two checklist cards, uh, have these particular parallels. So you can, you know, basically every card in the set has a similar card to this Michael Jordan card uh, that is just as rare. Uh, because, you know, each card they made... 10 green ones so uh you know on a rarity level this is not rare um you know now the big question is you know how close can you get to that three hundred and fifty thousand dollar price tag on say some of the more common players and you know how much is really behind michael jordan's name and like I said, you know, if it was maybe a, a rookie card, you know, I could understand it a little bit better. But a 1997 made by Skybox and it being just an insert, um, you know, like I said, it could be, you know, a positive thing. Um, 
you know, a majority of the, the hobby nowadays, you know, especially the current issue cards, is driven all on insert cards, relic cards, autographs, parallel cards, and, you know, nobody seems to care about the base cards. So, um, you know, this could be a good thing. Um, uh, you know, me being a you know, vintage collector, you know, uh, I tend to study, you know, where the numbers fall based on r true rarity. And, you know, when I can pick out a handful of cards that are, you know, population report rare, you know, where they are, you know, this card has 10 of them out there and they say, you know, you're lucky to see just one. And, you know, there's cards I could name off that, you know, have less than 10 out there and you can buy them for under $100. And it's just too much of a swing in price to where, you know, I could, I can't just, I can't call this a good investment. Um, definitely bragging rights. Uh, that's the only thing I can, uh, you know, make of the whole thing. Uh, you know, just being able to tell your friends, hey, I bought a Michael Jordan uh, basketball card for $350,000. And... And then that's it, you know. I, I don't think it can really go any further than that. Uh, you know, I don't think it has a, you know, a potential investment turnaround, um, you know, to be able to return any of that money, especially with it being an authentic, uh, you know, at least be a, a PSA 10, you know, because what, what about the other nine that are out there? This one could be at the bottom of the list as far as condition goes. So... What do you guys think? I don't know, bragging rights? Or is this, you know, the direction the hobby is going to be going in? Uh, you know, is it going to be, you know, insert and parallel driven? Uh, you know, if it is, I'll, I'm fine with that. You know, I like the nice shiny cards. You know, the parallels are interesting. I just, uh, you know, I don't do too much with them just because I'm nervous about them uh and mainly i'm nervous about them because they're just not rare uh anything that's made to be a collector's item or made to be limited edition just eventually has no value um if you ever see anything you know that was made even 30 40 years ago that says limited edition on it or you know collector's item anything like that and the value of it now, you know, you, you can't even give it away for a quarter. Um, and that's kind of what these inserts are all about. You know, they're they're made special. Um, they're, you know, they're made as a limited edition card to the set. Uh, they're made to be a collector's item. And that's where I get nervous. I just don't see how something intentionally made to be a collector's item can be worth this much money um but then again like i said i, I could be wrong uh this could be you know the direction the hobby's going in and if that's you know the case i'm fine with that because i'd rather go in a certain direction than you know not go anywhere um but I wanted to make this quick video, uh, you know, about this card, uh, you know, just so everybody's a little bit more aware of, of, you know, the card and that it actually, you know, is an insert card and there is a base set um, and that it is a Skybox card, which many people don't realize, uh, you know, Skybox cards, you know, were, you know, they came out in the, the Junk Wax era and... You know, I have boxes of them that just have no value, you know. And, you know, for me to see something like this of value and then find out that there's not even just one of them, there's a bunch of them out there, just causes me to question the whole thing. So we'll have to see how this all plays out. Um, you know, see if there's a, a continuing pattern I know there were some cards, like uh, some Mike Trout cards that fell into a similar uh, pattern at one point. 
and there was just one person that was buying them up and just, you know, had the thought in his mind if he owned them all, he could basically, you know, set his price, sky's the limit, and he was going to make a ton of money off of it. But, you know, at, at some point, you know, everybody's just going to say, look, I, I just don't want it that bad. Uh, I'm not going to pay that kind of money for, for you know, a piece of cardboard. Um, so, you know, you might be able to make a little bit of money, but trying to corner the market like that, it, it's, I, you know, I just don't, I, I just don't understand it. Um you know, this type of money, you're better off, you know, putting it into real estate, something that you can actually, you know, visit and, you know, potentially make a, you know, a monthly income off of. Uh, this card here, you're not going to be able to make a monthly income off of, you know, with it sitting in a, in a safety deposit box at the bank. So, just my thoughts. Um if you have any comments or questions or you know any thoughts on the whole thing you can definitely you know you know leave it in the comments section uh if you haven't subs subscribed to my uh channel uh you know I do a lot of videos on vintage cards coin stamps comic books non sports cards um you know I go to different baseball card shows coin shows uh so if you like the video give it a thumbs up um and like I said you know what does everybody think about this um I honestly don't know what to think. Um, I'm still trying to take it all in. Um, but like I said, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.